Hello there, Matthew Peterson here, Senior Trainer at Pragmatic Works. And what I wanted to let you know about is we now have a brand new course up on our on-demand learning system. Uh, and this course is called Power Platform and Teams. So what's really cool about this course, if you decide you want to take it or you get interested, is we are going to go through an end-to-end -end example of how we can use the different programs within Power Platform, but use it inside of Teams. So part of the class, what we're going to start off with is we're going to learn how to create Dataverse tables, columns, and data types to house some data for our process, which is basically we're going to do a, a home office setup. So you're going to be working from home. You need to be able to put in a request to your organization for a new laptop or a desk or a chair, whatever it might be. And we're going to create an application inside of Teams, a Canvas application, to where we're going to collect that data and house it inside of those Dataverse tables. So you'll get a great experience into if you've never built a Canvas app before, you're going to learn how to do it in this class. Class. We're then going to take it over into the next step where we're going to start to integrate Power Automate into that data collection. So when a request comes in, it's going to have to go through an approval process and then we're going to want to update the records based off of that. And we're going to use Power Automate all inside of Teams to create that as well. And show some other of the cool Power Automate templates that are inside of Teams like, hey, I want to click a quick button. I just got a message from someone. I want to remember to follow up with them in 30 minutes. We're going to learn how to set up one of those Power Automate features. We're then going to take it into the third part of the Power Platform, which is Power Virtual Agents, where we're going to learn how to make a chatbot so that your, your user can go to a team, click on the chatbot, and ask a question about this idea of a home office setup, something like, how do I even put in a request? We're going to learn how we can code that chatbot to give them certain answers to the questions that they have, take them down different modules based on what those answers are and even incorporate Power Automate inside of the Power Virtual Agent to submit the very first request for them, saying, hey, all of our new employees, this is the first thing they typically want to ask for. Do you want me to put that request in for you? Power Automate will then take their responses, make a record inside of our Dataverse table, which will then kick off a Power Automate flow for that approval. And then we're going to add more into that Power Virtual Agent as well. And then we finally wrap up the class with talking about the Power BI features that we can use inside of Teams. So we will use the Power BI desktop to create the report. We'll learn about how to transform the data, visuals, building a beautiful report so we can start to analyze all these requests that have come in. And then we'll explore how can we interact with these Power BI reports inside of your Teams environments. So again, it's all of the Power Platform inside of Teams. If you have no experience with any parts of this, of the Power Platform, this is a great place to start because we'd start off with the basic building blocks of each of these programs, but we're using it all inside of Teams and then getting to take advantage of the capabilities of Dataverse that we can utilize inside of Teams to collect this data, house it, back the data up, set security on who should be able to see what records, what can they do with those records. So it's a very fun and exciting class and hopefully uh, something you might be interested in. And if that's the case, uh, then you'll be seeing me in the very first video.